you guys, y'all wanna see a magic trick? So, y'all see this, right? And we're gonna slide that on up in there. And she's staying, she's staying, but this is the bar, so. This is the bar. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for me? Boom, glueless, and she melts right back in. Hey. Hey best friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is brought to you by Asteria. They did send me two 24s, a 22, a 20, and a 20 inch closure. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make your closure look as natural as possible. Some people are afraid to use closures because it looks kind of wiggy, but I'm gonna show you how to customize that thing and make it look bomb. But before I get into the tutorial, Asteria did ask me to do a giveaway. So this video is definitely a get giveaway. So I am definitely not in charge of this. Asteria is going to announce the winners on their pages, but we're gonna host a giveaway on mine. So the giveaway rules are the following. One, you must subscribe to Asteria's hair and my channel, of course. Two, follow Asteria and myself on Instagram. I will leave all of their information down below. Three, like and follow their Facebook page. And number four, comment on this video and let me know if I slay this unit and also in the same comment leave your Instagram name and your Facebook name okay and if you don't have that just say I don't have that and you will also be entered into the giveaway Asteria will announce the winners on their social media I will not be announcing the winners but I give you this whoever wins you can definitely send your wig or your bundles and your bundles to me and I will customize your wig and make you one okay what's up now let's get into this video all right so this is what the wigs looks like after I made it the hair is very flowy and it's soft I was very surprised about that like it was soft and it is full from root to tips well from left to tips and this is what the inside of my wig looks like it is machine made I did make it with my sewing machine I am going to show you guys how I did that um, just give me time I'm just starting doing a couple of my videos over because um, I did change the way that I do a lot of my customizations to make them better so so this is what the closure looks like it's not fully pre-plugged so I'm going to show you guys how I customize my closures when it comes to closures only I prefer it to be like this um, non pre-plugged because I could go in and customize it a little bit better than I can if it was I don't know it just gives me one more room because I'm not the type of person that likes a lot of plucking done to the front of their hairline um, I like it to look as natural as possible so what I do is I do take little pieces little um, sectionings off the front and all I'm going to do is take my tweezers and I am going to hold the hair taut and I am going to take my tweezers and I am going to pluck going down and across. And I'm not going to stay in the same spot. I'm going to go back and forth and I'm going to do that until I get the density that I want. And I'm going to keep doing that and then I'm going to move to the next section. And you're going to see me do that. And then you just want to pull the excess hair off so you can see the density of how much you are plucking versus what is actually left in the hair. So you're going to take another piece. And you're going to separate it and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pluck going left to right, left to right until that piece gets into the density that you want. Now, everybody's hairline is different. I know my hairline is kind of dense in the front. Like my natural hairline is dense in the front and like a, a little sparsy on the side. So like I, I kind of mimic my natural hairline. And so you just want to keep doing this back and forth, back and forth until it gets the density remove the shed of hair back and forth back and forth until it gets the density what I typically do is I take five sections of those little pieces and I will pluck it and as you can see as I'm going to show you um, during this tutorial and then I'm gonna pull it back and I'm gonna look at the density and if I feel like it needs to be plucked more I'll go back and pluck some more like so all right best friend so you want to work uh, the smartest way, not the hardest way, okay, when it comes to customizing. So you definitely need good wig 
you know supplies so definitely invest in a wig stand and definitely invest in a blockhead those are the two main things i say are important to making a wig i am going to do a separate video of wig essentials okay so I, so we could go over everything but you definitely want to get those two things because those are, uh, are a necessity to having you know uh a nice looking wig like I would say especially if you want to just do it quick and easy styling your hair quick and easy buy you a wig stand I'll link um, where I get my wig stands and my blockheads from there it's an Amazon store and they're super super fast especially if you have prime but yeah definitely invest in that Now this is good enough, okay? Like you don't want to pluck too much or too far back because if you bleach your knots, over time your wig will shed, your lace will shed, the hair on your lace will shed. It's just inevitable. It's something that's going to happen. So you don't want to do too much plucking. So I probably just pluck about two and a half inches from the hairline and that's good enough for me especially with a closure uh, you want it to look natural but you don't want it to go like you don't want it to look bald okay so you want to do the exact same thing to the other side So as you can see, the lace does not match my skin color. This is Swiss lace and it comes in a light brown. And I am very much chocolate over here. So I am going to use my lace tint that is now going to be available on my website. Um, it's a lace tint and all you do is spray your lace before you start styling. You can use as many coats as necessary for your skin tone. It does come in light, medium, and dark. And all you do is let it air dry or you blow dry it. No, the tint does not change your knot color. Um, it just changes the lace color for it to match your skin tone. So as of now, I am going to take some scissors. And on the sides of your closure, there's going to be like these two seams. I'm going to cut the little seams off because it just helps your closure lay more flesh flat to your skin. So I'm going to cut those off and then we're going to start on the baby hairs. So I'm just sectioning off a little bit. Like I don't like a lot of baby hairs. I want it to look like little fluff in the front of my hairline. It doesn't have to be too defined for myself. I'm not the type of person I like to find baby hair like that. So um, especially not on wigs. On my natural hair, I, you know, I'll, 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 I'll rock with some defined baby hair, but not on my, not on my wigs. So, I am going to use some styling mousse. You can use any styling mousse of your choice. Okay. Um, the one I use is from Cantu. That's what I had on hand. And I'm just going to put it on the part. And I'm going to make sure my part is defined. Well, not really defined. I don't like two defined parts. Because I just feel like it's something about really, really defined parts that don't look natural. So, I am going to part it. And I am going to just make the hair lay down in the way that I want it to dry. Now, I am the type of person that don't like to have product on their hair. Because I just don't like how I feel. I just feel like product just weighs your hair down. Um, and if I do use product, I want it to be lightweight. And when I... I went to go press the closure or flat iron the closure whatever like I could feel the product so you know the next time just put the mousse on the front of the hairline and well I'm gonna put the mousse on the front of the hairline and that's just gonna just be that for me because I just didn't like how it felt on the top of my where my part was but anyway I'm just molding the hair where I wanted to go and then I'm gonna take some scissors cut the baby hair short and use a little bit more mousse and then just you know lay them where I want them to lay for the time being
So just play with your baby hair, get into the desired flow or wave or design as you please. I'm not really picky on this. I just need it to just be flat. <laughs> like going in a direction for myself and after you do that you want to get some a silk wrap or saran saran strips whatever these strips is called you want to get that and tie it down and let it dry me myself i don't got time to wait so i used the blow dryer to dry it and this was the outcome and this is what the lace looks like with the tint on it. And as you can see, we matching over here, chocolate with chocolate. The actual tips of, you see it, it's still gray, so you can tell the difference in color. You want to mold your stocking cap on your head. Um, I'm using a lighter one because I ran out of my dark one, so um, that's the reason why I'm putting makeup on this. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't put makeup on my stocking cap. But actually, I actually like how it looked at the end. So I am just going to make sure there is makeup on the edge of the stocking cap. Since this is a closure, I'm just going to put it in a T form. So around my perimeter of my hairline and then down the middle because that's where my part usually is. And I don't need to put the makeup on the lace because I already tinted it with my tint lace tint. And it's called Melt. And it's going to be on my website. So, um, and this is what she's looking like. And she's already looking hella bomb. Okay. So, um, at this point, I'm just looking at her seeing what we got to do next. And I'm going to cut the lace off. And make sure you guys hold up your baby hair so you won't cut those off. The baby hairs was a little too long for me, so I just took my scissors and kind of like thinned them out a little bit more, made them shorter. And this is what she's looking like. I love my wigs to match my skin color. So all I'm doing is finalizing the sleigh. I'm taking any hard, like hard or sticky holding spray. Um, you could use the got to be free spray and just spray the corners and the edges so the flaps could stay down and that is it so i'm gonna use that and i am going to use some wax and to lay them flyaways because obviously y'all can see them because i can see them too and i'm gonna lay everything down and get her right for that sledge oh she look like silk girl what lace yes thumbs up for that fucking lace tint because it made a whole new difference with it but that lace that front is just looking delicious but yeah you guys this is basically the end of the video um this is a glueless wig technically i mean i did use holding spray to hold down the flaps so that is it best friends let me know if, if this was easy to follow and if you try this method let me know down below how did it turn out and did I slay this closure? Because I think I slayed the closure, okay? If you want to be entered in the giveaway, just make sure you follow the instructions. I will leave all the information and the details to the entire video down below. And again, thank you for watching this video, best friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with another one. Bye, best friends.